Hi guys, um, welcome to the Hiker Outpost. This is Abe. This is my first uh, overnight camping trip that I'm gonna post on YouTube. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it and uh, I'm here at uh, Queen uh, Elizabeth uh, Wildlands Provincial Park and uh, it's about two hours north of Toronto and I'm here with my friend Jonathan. Hey, -o. hey guys. He has a YouTube channel also, it's a puck camper, check him out. He goes on solo overnight trips with his little pug, Princess. Um, so it's um, April and uh, as you can see we still have s plenty of snow, but at least the uh, river is not frozen, which means we don't have to melt snow. Hopefully trails are not iced up because we don't have spikes um, yeah so this is uh, our gear there's lots of wildlife here so we've got our spray um, temperatures are good and um, should get down to about minus five degrees Celsius tonight skies should be clear so hopefully I can make some uh, uh, night photos or astro photos um, yeah that's it see you guys soon Another little beaver dam. That's a frozen lake. Hi guys, uh, so we're just about one and a half kilometers in, uh, so far so good, except our dog fell through the ice and now she's trying she's to, dried up already though. yeah she's actually dry already, it's really hot today. but she's rubbing against me for some reason, uh, yeah it's getting hot and we've still got 11 kilometers to go. Another beaver dam over there. Lots of lakes, lots of water. <laughs> this spot will be really beautiful in the summer. So 
another beaver, another beaver dam, and um, right behind me. Uh, what I wanted to say is that when it's still kind of winter and it's a bit cold, even though the water is uh, melting and the ice and the snow is melting, um, you really want to be careful. Like if you come to this park when crossing the beaver dams, because very easy to fall through. It's not very stable. And uh, if you know, if you wet your feet, uh, you're gonna have some issues. Uh, so just be mindful whenever you cross the beaver dam. Uh, never rush. It's better to you know cross it a bit slower than you know ruin your entire day. So we met uh, another hiker on our way, he's now coming with us, and his dog Max. Lots of energy, We're running back and forth all the time. And there you see another group of hikers. Um, It's really warm because of the weather and also us hiking, but it's really nice. They've added the thunder boxes this year. They've added thunder boxes. I didn't bring my fishing rods. Oh, you didn't bring? I didn't bring my fishing rods. Yeah. No. I thought about it. Yeah. Well, maybe like in certain areas, see, like over there. If it's like this, we can't we can't cast far anyway. Yeah. Saw guys ice fishing on the way. <laughs> <laughs> you saw that? Right? Yeah, people right, over there little, camping. Yeah, yeah, we saw it's that. A nice and like spot. beside it, it's like built it. Yeah. Got <laughs> good panoramic view. It's uh, it's gonna be May in ten days, and as you can see, the lake is still pretty solidly frozen. Hello Max. Keep going. Yeah? I'll, just, yeah. I'll walk behind you. I wonder if there's sites over there. There's a... Oh uh, yeah, that's a site. That's an orange sign for a site. Yeah. How the hell do you get over there, though? Uh, you should have went the other way around. Oh. Makes sense. <laughs> this dog is so hyper, so much energy. No, no. He's trying to eat my microphone.
You heard it guys. 3.3.5 kilometers completed. There's multiple groups here across different parts of this lake hiking the same trail. Okay guys, we just uh, had a little stop to get some, eat some snacks and uh, uh, drink some water. We just passed Sheldon Lake. It had like three or four campsites around it and pretty, they all were taken. Uh, which is fine because our plan is to go beyond Sheldon Lake. Um, so right now there is a little mountain behind me. Um, We've heard there is a campsite right on top of it, so we're just gonna go up, check it out. If it's got a nice view from there, we might even stop there. Although we initially were planning to go much further, but we've heard that the trails are still covered in snow and we have to break the trail and we don't have snowshoes, so we, I guess we're not going all the way to Wolf Lake. Um, so any spot that we're gonna find that's gonna be attractive, we're gonna take it. So we reached uh, junction point right over there and uh, initial plan was to go to Wolf Lake and change of plans so now we're going to uh, Moore's Falls Trail but that's 11 kilometers so we're just gonna go in that direction and uh, reach Cooney Lake and hopefully find a good campsite there um, dogs are tired there they are there's princess Hi, Hi, baby. But the spirits are good. <laughs> He'll be fine. Duck? Yeah, he can swim. Oh my god! <laughs> You're right? Yeah. You might have to like go through first and then. Yeah, uh, can you hold him and then I'll. Come I'll watch back. him, I'll, I'll watch him. I'll drop my pack and then I'll come back. Sure. Yeah, just want to hold him. I say. Oh shit. Sorry. Thanks. Hey. Good boy. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Max. Ooh, Max. Wait, 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 wait. Keep coming back, keep coming back. Good boy. Good boy. Wait, Max, wait. Good boy. Good boy. Max. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. stop it. <laughs> Maybe it should be an easier way. I don't know if that wall felt. Is it easier to go down that way? Um. Jump over there. 
So we crossed the river um, over there to the south side. Um, there was no trail on this side, but we basically hiked, you know, a couple hundred meters. Um, hiked a couple hundred meters this way, and we're now thinking to go back actually because that side, which is north side, actually looks a little bit better, and it looks like there is a campground over there. Um, it's really hard to find a flat ground, so and we believe that we've got a better chance to find it on that side. Trying to take a shortcut over here, but if we can't find a safe way th through, then we will go back and cross the river over there again, and then hike all the way back again here. So apparently this is a moose poo. Not sure, but that's what the guys are saying. There's some footprints. Just for comparison's sake, this is my footprint. Size 10. We're just bushwalking. There's no actual trail here. Trying to get to that side over there. So we just got to the campsite. Um, this is our place for tonight. Uh, we just flattened the snow. Um, this is the nice lake right behind us. Beautiful, beautiful spot. So we had to cross, we had to cross the swamp, and um, some places were deep. And uh, Shane and John, uh, Jonathan, um, you know, fell uh, a bit too much in the water and got wet. But thankfully, um, it's not that cold today, and there's still plenty of sun, so we can dry them off. Otherwise, it looks like a nice spot. So, just finished putting together my tent, it's that one, um, the guys already started doing, uh, collecting some wood, so I'm gonna just go and join them, it's been a long day, time to get some energy. So we started a fire and um, <clears throat> starting to slowly cook our meals. I'm boiling some water over here. And for tonight we're gonna have veggie veggie burrito bowl. 600 calories. Feels like not that much considering some burgers are 1000 calories. But it's okay. I've got a couple of these. I'm gonna 
put some water here and then the rest I'm going to make tea. There is Max. Hey guys. There's my dinner. All set up. Nothing house. Sitting by the fire. I water in there and I made my tea, got some cup of hot green tea. Makes you feel so much better. And uh, my alpine uh, dehydrated meal is getting ready. I put some water in it. So now I just gotta wait like 10, 15 minutes. On the other side, It's a beautiful view. And guys, I'm getting, I'm feeling a lot better now. Behind me, Jonathan, doing his, doing his video. Oh, I feel so much better. Beautiful weather. I just hope no uh, wind. That's why I'm, I'll be um, really grateful for that. Completely like blue sky. Anyway, time to finish this bad nice. boy, and then uh, get home. Luckily. Um, the ice is thin, so we're able to get some water by putting a filter in there. So this is uh, really nice because we don't have to melt snow. <laughs> takes forever to melt snow and the snow is not clean right now. What are you drinking? Huh? What are you drinking? Milk tea. Guy. I don't know if you guys know, I don't know his name, but something fan. He like, he thought he was gonna die from cancer. Oh, I was researching that actually. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. Really and then he buried his chest in the uh, Rocky Mountains. And then he wrote, he wrote two books about it, like, giving hints. Oh. And, and he didn't die? Nobody, yeah, he didn't. He, he brought it there and he, thought, like, he bought a lot of gold with his money. And then his chest was on the phone with, like, gems, gold. Yeah. Thought he's gonna die with the with the chest. <laughs> he didn't die. Like he buried it and he didn't die. I guess. So yeah. Uh, but I mean, like if he if he went out there and buried the chest and came back alive, right? He just gotta have like a backup plan. You know what I'm saying? Like if he if he if he's planning to go out there and bury it and die with it, I wouldn't know how to get back out. You know what I'm saying? Like I would have just go in there go deep in there, I wouldn't know how to get back out. Yeah. And I wouldn't have to stop to get back out. So I don't know how he survived that. So he actually won himself in there as well? Yeah, he wanted to die with it. At least exactly. that's what I thought. I thought he just went out there. Just bury it? Just went out there, left it, and then like, did all the stuff for someone to go find it. Right. So he did that back in like, some sort of recession. I can't remember what it was. Like, 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 like people were just to go hope for these ideas. Yeah. Hi guys, uh, we're back in the tent. Uh, not back, now we're in the tent. Um, food is uh, tucked away and is uh, hanging on a tree. Um, everything cleaned up outside. Um, all my stuff is in my tent and 
I boiled a liter of uh, water, put it in a Nalgene bottle, and threw it in my um, sleeping bag, so that will keep me warm. Um, I also added some two toe warmers into my spare sock, on top of my spare socks, because apparently somehow my spare socks got a little wet. So those store warmers will be really nice overnight. Will keep me warm together with the Nalgene bottle. <coughs> and um, yeah, should be good. Um, we did a bunch of astrophotography, lots of uh, stars. The skies are super clear and stars are so bright. So it should be, should be some good results once I get to my computer and process them. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, I'm gonna go back to sleep and see you guys in the morning with a cup of coffee. Bye. Good morning, guys. Um, it was a cold night. It went down. It went down to like minus five. But my sleeping bag was rated for minus two only. And. And I just couldn't get warm until maybe 2 or 3 a.m. And so I had to use this extra emergency BV that I had um, to get warm. So once I put the BV on, I was able to um, get warm and fall asleep. So, the plan is to get up, brush my teeth, wash my face, and get that coffee going, and then have a breakfast. Outside is probably beautiful, so I'm going to show you once I'm out. Beautiful morning. Drying my tent fly, it was covered in condensation. There's uh, my space blanket drying as well. That's my tent. Okay, now I'm gonna get the water. When it's this cold, you gotta make sure that uh, you keep the water filter um, in your pocket. Otherwise, if it freezes, it can damage the filter and it's not gonna work anymore. So I kept this filter in my sleeping bag overnight and during the day I carry it in my pocket. Nice thing, it's small. The lake is still covered in ice, but it's a thin ice. I wouldn't walk on it. So these butane canisters, they, um, if the temperature drops below zero degrees, they usually don't work because butane doesn't uh, evaporate or doesn't boil below zero degrees Celsius. So you gotta keep them in the pocket. And the foil helps to keep it warm. Nice and hot, good flame.
So this morning we're having um, the black bar chili. You probably can see it, but it says black bar chili with beef and beans. 580 calories. 50 grams of protein per package. Should be good. I'll put half of the water into the meal and the rest I will make coffee. Water is almost boiled, so I'm going to be putting it in here soon. Turn it off. should be enough. Just have to stir it a bit so the water gets everywhere. And then seal it. Now that's sealed, we will leave it for uh, 10 to 12 minutes and it should be good to go. Now I'm going to make my coffee. It's already pre-mixed with sugar to make it easy on the trail. I'm just gonna wait for this to boil a little bit. I'm holding the gas canister just to keep it a little warmer because, as I said earlier, um, <coughs> they lose performance when they get cold, so if you hold it, it keeps it going. So. <laughs> Coffee boiling, let's stir it. Okay, I think coffee is ready. It's time to put it in the bottle. This is a baby Nalgene bottle. is ready. No, 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 Max. <laughs> Toy? Max, you want this?
Pa. I've got pa. two down jackets on me right now. Pa. Really? Pa. Oh. Uh, I've had it all. No, time. Max. Max. No. He's gonna bring us dinner for lunch. And there is my breakfast. Not really a breakfast, more like a dinner, but it's morning, so I'm gonna call it breakfast. It's a chili. Looks good, it smells great. Hi guys, um, so we're just packed up, uh, tents are all gone in the backpacks, ready to head out. Um, it's got much warmer, it's like plus four now. We had a nice um, breakfast, coffee, feeling good, feeling hot actually. So I'm gonna take off this jacket and we're gonna start hiking. Hopefully we'll get back in about two and a half hours. Uh, it's about six kilometer hike, probably almost like four miles. Um, so yeah, if anything interesting, happens on a trail, I'll let you know. We just made this makeshift bridge. That's where, uh, huh? that's where Jonathan and um, Shane uh, fell through the ice over there yesterday. So huh. today we decided to put some logs and cross it this way. Worked perfect. That's where our campsite was. So we're basically going back in that direction. Oh, back on the trail. So we just had to cross the stream because of uh, all the melting snow, the water level is actually higher today. Uh, but we were lucky that it wasn't high enough uh, to prevent us from crossing. Um, so definitely waterproof boots are helpful in this kind of conditions. Just above two and a half kilometers covered, so around four kilometers left. This is Sheldon Lake at the bottom. In the summer, this place will be beautiful. And you can go and swim in the lake or bring a canoe. Awesome. We're basically coming from that side of the lake. This is Sheldon Lake and then behind it there is Cooney Lake. That's where we're coming from. I want a canoe. Beautiful. We're more than halfway back. Less than three kilometers left. Just filling up uh, some fresh water, and then we're gonna continue on our way back.
a beaver dam on our way back there is gonna be two more two or three more but I think this one is uh, one of the bigger ones Very sketchy. And Jonathan is holding um, his pug. <laughs> so if they fall, they fall both. <laughs> Okay, my turn. Hopefully I won't go in the water. <laughs> Almost that. Almost. Last Almost beaver dam. Probably half a kilometer left till we get to the parking lot. These are the last minutes of our trail. Soon we're gonna have a parking lot. Then we're gonna go and stop somewhere to eat. I hope you guys enjoyed it um, and uh, this was my first uh, adventure that I uh, did for YouTube uh, and uh, uh, hopefully it was uh, decent enough <laughs> uh, I'll try to do some more uh, I'm probably not gonna do them like every other week but probably like once a month and um, yeah that's it. Thank you very much for watching and uh, have a good day. Bye.